women that stand outside are actually the women that give you service inside. Sometimes they wear schoolgirl uniforms. They're not contributing to the community. What if they have COVID? Jesus Londono lost his mother Maria to coronavirus in April 2020. So he's upset about what he's seeing along Roosevelt Avenue in East Elmhurst. Where women in face masks linger in short skirts and boots, closely watching their phones as the number seven train rattles overhead. Quietly directing men to a massage parlor on the second floor. The pandemic did not stop a demand for sex or the scourge of human trafficking. I've listened to victims tell me that they have had to have sex with 25 to 50 uh, individuals in one day. Are they working out of apartments, houses, storefronts? How does it work? All of the above. Homeland Security Investigations, HSI, recently profiled a sex worker named Tonya, who was being trafficked by her boyfriend to get child support money. After he started to like make me do it every night, I'd drink, I'd do whatever drugs he had just to like clear my mind. And they have taxi drivers who drive the traffic girls around to locations. Managers, bosses, and traffickers are in this to make money. Still wanting to force and coercing women to provide sex services despite the public health crisis. Hayrick Research recently studied online ads and estimated 11,000 illicit massage businesses, IMBs, are now operating in the U.S., more than pre-pandemic days. The group found 629 IMBs in New York City alone. For every Starbucks you have, really two illicit massage businesses. But that ratio skyrockets in Queens. If you look at Queens County, that number jumps to five to one. This is bedpage.com, the website where many of these businesses advertise. It seems to be a replacement for backpage.com, shut down by the federal government in 2018 for promoting prostitution. One bed page ad promises open-minded Asian babes who will fulfill your fantasies. This spa here on Liberty Avenue in Jamaica, Queens, also advertises on bedpage.com. Treatments you deserve and we know what to do. What it does is typical of many illicit businesses in the massage industry. It covers the windows and the door. While the NYPD shut down multiple massage parlors and illicit day spas on Flushing's 40th Road in 2019, pre-pandemic, we recently found women soliciting under the scaffolding there, right off Main Street, by the Long Island Railroad stop. I do think that the environment is definitely more different because of COVID. There's definitely a lot more desperation um, in terms of street-based sex work. In our next report, business may be booming, but the NYPD has radically cut down on prostitution arrests. We'll tell you who the vice squad is targeting now and how. I'm Mary Murphy, Pix 11 News.